Hello everyone, just a quick video. Um, for those who might be having difficulty uh, installing software on their own computers, um, to show you how you can um, run stuff on the web, and we'll be using um, a programming environment that is supplied by Google for free, uh, you do need a Google account. Okay, so open up um, your favorite browser. This should work on all browser types and then uh, have a search for Google Colab, C-O-L-A-B. And that should be the, the top one. Go colab.research.google.com. You may need to have signed into Google at this point, uh, or it might prompt you at this point to sign into your, your Google account. Okay, we'll do two things. We'll start with a blank notebook and we will then also upload a notebook from the HSMA course. So, new notebook uh, in this rather messy introductory um, uh, slide here. And this is essentially a Jupyter notebook um, that's, that's running on Google's um, servers. Uh, it creates it fresh in memory and then it will destroy it when, when you leave. So, <clears throat> it starts with an empty, what we call, cell here, and I can do the normal, essential, if I can spell, hello world. And then I can run that. Now, that I can. this doesn't have to be just a single line. Um, it can be multiple lines, um, A equals 10. B equals 20, print A plus B, um, just to show you can you do a whole program in one cell if you want. And then I'm going to click run cell, or you can see it also says control enter will, will do it as well, which is normally a bit faster to rather than moving mouse. Now the first time it runs, um, the notebook runs it'll be a little bit slow to get set up like, like there but it's done that now then if we wanted to put um, more cell and a uh, more uh, code underneath we do um, let's do uh, I don't know 10 to the power of 5 just anything really and then I'll do shift enter and you get the answer Okay, so that's uh, a Google Colab working, a Google Colab notebook working. If we wanted to save that, we do File, and then you want to, rather than save, which sort of saves it locally on the Google server, which will then be lost when it all closes down, do a download. You can download as a notebook, IPython uh, notebook, or download the um, equivalent .py file. Uh, .py file. Okay. So that's working uh, with a new notebook. Oh, I'll just say, show you one more thing in that um, you can pip install um, things like, well, let's do, so pip install is installing packages you, you might want to, to use. So you'll be using SymPy at some point. And because this is a command line um, method, we put an exclamation mark or bang, as the Americans would say. And then we do pip install simple and you would put all your pip installs for packages that aren't part of the normal google um, colab environment and it does contain an awful lot of things but not simpy you'd put those pip installs as part of the notebook so each time you set up google colab it will go down and collect the um, um, uh, the packages so import simpy should now not give us an error. Okay, so that's installed. Okay, so that's um, running with a clean notebook, new. Let's open a notebook um, that's been provided, say, for HSMA. And we do File. And it's Upload if it's, lo if it's locally. Um, so I'm going to or if you've saved it in Google Drive, you can do file lo locating drive. But if you've downloaded Dan's notebooks, then we upload a notebook. 
and Idlaskus uh, where to go. Click on choose file, and this has just come up with the location uh, where. So I saved um, the HSMA a Git repository um, locally. So I go to the folder that I want and say open up the first notebook. And there it is. And then you, you work in the notebook. And don't forget to download your work um, at the end if you want the, the completed notebook. Because when you close this down, it will disappear for forever. OK. That's it. That hopefully will help keep up, get people up and running if you're having difficulty working locally at the time being uh, until... Uh, till IT departments sort you out. Um, but it is um, uh, it is a useful thing anyway. Actually, one more thing worth mentioning is this runtime up here. Um, normally, it's sort of running on, I think you have two cores of a processor or something like that. You can change runtime type. And just so you know, this is here. Change it to GPU for when we get onto neural networks. They can be best run on Google Colab if you don't have a GPU which is something in your computer that does processing of huge numbers, sets of numbers at one time. Do it on Google Colab. You have access to a free GPU by changing the runtime type. Um, and then you're running on a GPU. It's a, it's a nice resource, which at least for the time being is free. Um, OK, uh, that's it. See you soon.